Welcome. This week we're thinking about biblical passages that relate to our five senses and today we're thinking about taste. I wonder if you've ever been out for a meal at a, a nice restaurant with some friends and your uh, meal arrives and you take a few bites and you just turn to your friends and you offer them at your plate and you say something like, you have to try this, it is delicious. Uh, here is a, a, a meal that is just so uh, lovely that you want them to experience it for themselves. Uh, they can see it on your plate, they can probably smell it, uh, they could touch it, I suppose, if you really wanted them to do that. But it's only when they actually take some and place it in their mouths and taste it for themselves that they will really fully experience the, the flavour and the texture of your meal. King David in Psalm 34 uses taste as a metaphor to encourage us to come and experience the goodness of God for ourselves. The psalm is David's own personal testimony of a time when he was rescued and delivered from a, a very dangerous situation. It begins, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Then verse 4, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. And then he switches to the, the third person, but he's clearly still referring to himself in verse 6. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. And David is writing out of his own personal experience. I bless the Lord. I sought the Lord. I cried to the Lord. The Lord answered me. The Lord delivered me. The Lord saved me. But then he says in verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman who takes refuge in him. And so from his own personal testimony, David turns to encouraging others to discover this saving, prayer-answering God for themselves. Like offering your plate to someone and saying, you need to try this. And when the Bible talks of faith and trust in God, it is always a personal matter. There is no such thing as a second-hand experience of the Lord it's a step that someone takes for themselves. And you might be someone who has witnessed a, a living faith uh, in your parents or a close friend. Perhaps it has impressed you. Uh, you've admired it. Maybe you've even hoped that some of that faith kind of rubs off on you. But it doesn't work like that. Like David those people would say to you, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman who takes refuge in him. This is something you have to do for yourselves. In the New Testament, uh, addressing those who have come to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle Peter says, you have tasted that the Lord is good. Uh, the writer to the Hebrews says this, you who have tasted the heavenly gift and have shared in the Holy Spirit have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come. Perhaps you've been listening to these daily thoughts for a while. I hope you've enjoyed them. Maybe you've learned a few things. But the really important thing is that you taste for yourself the reality of what they speak of. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man or woman who takes refuge in him. And if that is something that you'd like to discover and know more about, then I would encourage you to get in touch with us through the church Facebook uh, or the church website and uh, we'll be able to help you to discover God and the Lord Jesus for yourself. Amen. Lord bless you today.